Top 10 Dark Souls games. Number 10, Demon Souls. I haven't played it and neither of you, but it deserves a lot of credit for being the first Souls game and introducing a lot of the core concepts. And also, if you try to tell me about Kingsfield in the comments, I will ban you. Number 9, Dark Souls 1. This is one of the most overrated games ever. Sure, it does a lot right with the world design, engaging combat, fascinating lore, but none of that can make up for the appalling, atrocious, awful, blasphemous, depressing, dire, disgusting, dreadful, frightful, gruesome, harrowing, hideous, horrendous, horrific, offensive, and just downright unpleasant experience that is Bed of Chaos. I give Dark Souls 1 three glowing weak spots out of 10. Number 8. Lawbreakers. I think we've kind of made the Dark Souls of uh, competitive first-person shooters. Number 7. Jedi Fallen Order. Hey guys, remember the slide part before Bed of Chaos? You know, everyone's most favorite part of Dark Souls? What if we put a bunch of those in our game? Uh, I don't know, Dave. If we do that, will we still be able to have a frankly excessive amount of giant spiders? You better believe it, boss! And I'll even throw in this bat! Number 6, Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. This game's okay, it's a little on the easy side though. I was kinda disappointed with how fast I blew through the game. Uh, still haven't beaten Demon of Hatred or Sword Saint though, but okay, look, those guys are just unfair. Demon of Hatred has like 5,000 fireball attacks that never end, he has so much health, and Sword Saint has like 50 trillion phases, he has a stupid lightning attack, how's he have a machine gun? Number 5, the Bionicle one. Yep. This exists. Number four, Bearer of the Curse. Talk to Emerald Herald. Lady in the green cloak. Every time you level The agility up. stats a sick joke. Number three, Bloodborne. Bloodborne is a masterpiece, a true triumph for the medium of video games. It's just too bad they developed the game in PowerPoint. Hey, from software, maybe next time you make your magnum opus, put it on a console that can handle it and give me my shield back. Number two, Dark Souls 3. Also known as Bloodborne with a Shield, this was actually the last good game ever made. Its emphasis on flower points and cloth physics make it a standout entry in the franchise. Sadly, it also has these jailer enemies, like who thought these were fun? And finally, number one. The Elevator to Firelink Shrine. 